uh, dear students uh, welcome welcome to government college itu and uh, welcome to the <coughs> department of geography uh, government college itu <coughs> and uh, me myself vinish assistant professor of geography government college itu and uh, uh, i am handling the uh, one part of the geographical geography thought development of geography thought and uh, we already discussed uh, in the what in the live session i am starting with <coughs> what the second unit of the development of geographical geography thought and uh, uh, we have uh, we have introduced ourselves and one session was free we have introduced ourselves uh, we know each other little little only a little things not much more details and uh, so a few people provided the feedback about uh, certain things a few what uh, classes that sample resources were was okay uh, i can continue with the lessons so welcome to my video lesson that uh, providing uh, knowledge knowledge about geography and information about geography not much and uh, not bigger uh, something it's just plainly teaching geography and let me start with an introduction uh, you know that although all, all, all the teachers may say about geography geography is nothing it's a scientific study about, study about man earth and environment man earth and environment and a bit more detail a way of explaining it is simply the uh, the explanation or the scientific study about different process pattern and behavior geographical process geographical pattern and geographical behavior okay that's not connected with today's lesson today's lesson i am just starting with uh, you can see that heading the contribution of greek geographer evolution of geography that is uh, ancient period and contribution of greeks you know that uh, the greek greece greek people that uh, one of the oldest civilization in all over the world and their contribution to the world that is two important contribution that is uh, the democracy and the uh, what writing fine uh, to something like letters uh, in that malayalam we can call it as lipi it is contributed by uh, the greeks and you know that uh, there are uh, so in that uh, movie in that stories greek goddess they are very popular you know that that kinds of things you know that and uh, you can you can read such kinds of stories hercules and all those things the story about hercules and all those things and so many greek goddess uh different civilization that kind of things so uh, from that itself the the geography started you know that geo and graphia that two the, the geography the terminology originated from that uh greece geo and graphia two words two words itself uh it is the beginning and here we are discussing about uh, the contribution of greek scholars greek geographers a geographer a geographer means nothing uh, that uh, a person studying about geography scientific scientifically studying about geography and he uh, those who are trying to resolve real world problems with the help of geographical knowledge and geographical skills uh that uh, that includes so many skills at uh, drawing maps planning uh preparing different thematic maps reading the maps preparing uh, different kinds of 
uh, different kinds of detailed explanations about certain geographical locations that so many things that i already exp- already given three uh, important video that is about tradition of geog- traditions in geography then themes in themes in the geography and the concepts in geography that three uh, sample resources i have provided and you can see that you will get that those kinds of information so oh, let us start today's lesson and remember we people are studying about the geographical process geographical pattern and geographical behavior so let us start today's lesson that is the contribution of greek that uh, greek culture and scholarship spans thousands of years greek literature has an unbroken history of nearly 3000 years reflect a gradual uh, transition from theoretical to a uh, practical cartography from idealized concepts of the shape of the known world and uh, climate to map projections and coordinate geometry uh, reconstruction uh, constructions a plenty uh, geography as a field of knowledge had its two ro- roots in the greek scholarship this is not surprising as in the ancient times greek was one of the well flourished flourished civil uh, civilization uh civilizations dating back to 500 bc to 200 bc with its center in greece and its surrounding areas uh, that uh, starting of the that civilization you know that bc that stands for before christ right so the geography is also started uh, before the christ right uh, then uh, greek period is rightly called as the golden period because all greek greeks provided a framework of of concept, concept that guided the western thinking for many centuries it was the most advanced economy in the world in that time of civilization that uh, great grand civilization the greece was the largest or highest uh, uh, or the flourishing economy in that uh, time of civilization the greek philosophers at that time philosophy uh, that uh, philosophy of geography that kind of uh, terminology that uh, the greek philosophers or the greek geographers of that time has provided the theoretical and scholarly base for the philosophical thinking through models concepts and paradigms which guided western academia for many centuries a large number of concepts and theories in the geographical philosophy seem to have an inclination towards the greek tradition so uh, <clears throat> there are so many greek philosophers philosophers means geographers uh and today we are discussing about two people that is tales and anaximander right tales and anaximander so major greek philosophers in the ancient greek scholarship two traditions of geographical studies are found that namely the mathematical tradition and the literary tradition that the two tradition that uh, that is connected with uh, mathematics and uh, literary tradition means something uh connected with the different poems stories novels that kinds of things that uh, that old type of writing so that two way of studying that is mathematically study and uh, uh, based on some certain literature literature works uh it is a common belief that homer is regarded as the father of geography see uh, in that statement see this i took from from resources see i never edited that uh, i took from an uh, authentic resource fine right? that a ugc approved resource but uh, it is not exactly right uh, that uh, homer is considered as the father of geography what we learn hecatius is the father of geography that we will explain uh, from in that uh, resource it is mentioned that homer is the father of geography and we we all uh, that uh, we o- we also learn geography in that uh, learning process we understood or we got the idea that hecatius is the father of geography but in that in, on that resources it, it is mentioned that homer is the 
Homer is Homer is considered as the father of geography. That you know that that famous uh, Odyssey, Iliad, and Odyssey. Fine. Uh, in that one, uh, he is mentioning about some geographical writings, something like north, west, south, east, other kinds of things. So uh, that some people is considering Homer is the Homer is regarding as the father of geography, uh, but uh, I don't think so. Right. So let us uh, let us continue our lesson. <clears throat> that uh, that this is because the he introduced the literary tradition through the. Uh, his monumental work, Odyssey and Iliad, Iliad and Odyssey. He described the four winds coming from the different directions and named them uh, that Greek words that uh, you know that you read that term that is wind from north, east, south, and uh, west. You that I can't pronounce that Greek word. You read it. You read it yourself, right? That Greek terminology. That different uh, winds uh, from different directions. He is the first. Homer is the first person mentioned about uh, this uh, different wind coming from different direction. Uh, so I already said uh, we will uh, we are discussing about two important geographers or two important philosophers in Greek uh, in Greece. That one is in that in today's video lesson we are discussing about Thales and Anaximander. So Thales was the first Greek genius philosopher and uh, traveler who was. Concerned, concerned with the basic theorems of geometry, he proceed, uh, processed, proposed the following six geometric pro uh, proportions. So you can rightly understand, it is based on that time, that centuries reading, before Christ reading, his concept. See what I am explaining, his concept. The circle is divided into two equal parts of his uh, diameter, it means geometrical concepts. Right? Uh, the angles of, angle at a at either end of the base of an isocells, isocell triangles are equal. When two parallel lines are crossed uh, diagonally by a straight line, the opposite angles are equal. The angle is a semicircle, is a right angle. The sides of similar triangles are proportional. Two, uh, two triangles are uh, concurrent if they have two sides and one angle respectively equal. Uh, sides are one angle respectively equal. James Nerd and Matthew. See that uh, collected from that material. So that was the concept about uh, that uh, tales about geometry. Geometry means in that 10th standard you have learned that geometry. What do you mean that geometry? Uh, in Malayalam it's known as geometry. So his concept about circle, triangle, lines, that are the uh, one, two, oh, three, four, five, six, six concepts that is proposed by the tales. You read it and ask, uh, you, you can ask, ask the questions. He visualized earth as a disk floating on water. See, I already said it is, see, it is a wrong concept, but at that time, uh, the tales believes his, his readings and his writings provided uh, he means his concept is Thales concept is earth is a disk floating on water. Right? He was also the first who st uh, started the measurement of the earth and location of things on the face of the earth. Thus, establishing the mathematical tradition, establishing the mathematical tradition, not only this, he laid the foundation of empirical studies that is an explanation uh, it can be checked through ground observation and measures empirical study is something uh, observing uh, as critic critic of the traditional unscientific explanation uh, at that time Thales believes his uh, he believed that the earth is something like a disk floating on water and uh, he was explained it is scientific Actually, it is uh, now. Now we know that it is wrong concept. In that before Christ, that was the concept. And Anaximander, the next uh, one we are discussing today, today's class, is credited with the uh, with the introduction of a Babylonian instrument known as gnomon into the Greek literary world. 
to revolt. Gromon is a pole set vertically above a flat surface on which the varying position of the sun and other celestial bodies could be measured by the length and direction of the shadow caused by the vertical pole. I will show the uh, what uh, the picture. It is uh, something uh, he is just uh, used this one for uh, measuring the movement of sun, moon, and all those things. Fine, I will show you that the picture. See, this is the picture. Fine. You can see. Uh, I think that uh, uh, that neck uh, he used to, to what the to observe the movement. Uh, that is known as Gromon. <clears throat> He is even credited to produce a world map to scale. This map is based on the information gathered from the uh, summary <coughs> Sumerians who had an uh, archive of pictorial maps, arch archive of pictorial maps. Interestingly, interestingly, this map has an ocean encircling the world. Tales and Anaximander are credited for the initiation, initiation of mathematical tradition in geography. I mean, these two people start to introduce the mathematical formulas for studying about Earth. And uh, let me tell you uh, Anaximander's world map. See, I will show you the, the first world map drawn to scale. And uh, this is the Anaximander's world map. His way of, at that time, sorry, before Christ, he drawn this map. That is Europe was the, then Asia, then Libya. Libya is the Africa, then a surrounding ocean. That was his concept, concept about world or the earth. And this is the equipment called uh, that uh, gnomon. And yes, gnomon and gnomon or gnomon, you can call uh, and his map, his way of explaining the concept. Fine. So we learned about two important scholars, that is Tales and Anaximander. Sorry, I forgot to say one more sentence, uh, that Anaximander, he is the father of mathematical geography. Right? And uh, see, I already said his uh, first, he is the first person provided uh, a map with a scale. Right? So that uh, that are the two points you have to remember. So let us wind up today's session. Uh, you can ask your doubts. Uh, you can give, uh, float your feedback. And I will definitely, I will clear that uh, questions. You can contact me like this. And uh, we will consider answering that questions. Always remember, uh, this, we people are studying about geographical process, pattern, and behavior. And uh, let me tell you one thing. These lessons are very important. <coughs> Even after, uh, see, you know that one examination that's called the UGC net. People will ask questions from uh, these kinds of concepts. You you have, you have will write uh, that examination at the time of post-graduation. There are there, 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 so many questions will come from the concepts this video try to remember this concept this maps and all those things it will always help not for not just for this examination for the examination in the coming years so you can ask your doubts i'm always here uh, you can ask your see you can ask any doubts and if i know the things i will clear immediately if i don't know i will refer and i will answer your questions. So, thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, patiently watching my lesson. Thank you. Thanks a lot.